NBA 2K mega fans are preparing to leave the game behind. That's the title of this recent article released by the Washington Post, May 18th, 2023, written by Herb Scribner. This here is the complete article created by the Washington Post, and there's some really juicy stuff in there. I'm gonna leave a link to this full article in the description. Y'all be sure to check it out if you're interested. Man, I tell you, it is past due time that 2K gets held accountable. Salute to the good folks over at the Washington Post for shedding some light on the situation that's going on between 2K development, developing 2K games, and the consumer base. And it looks like season seven just sparked this whole flame yesterday season seven dropped and it looks like a lot of players are heavily disappointed how do you guys feel about season seven sound off in the comment section below is it a w or l do you not like the season rewards and oh my god what about those wreck jerseys now i can't front you out those animations from the dribble animations the size up escapes the moving crossover alan iverson moving crossover and the new jump shots seem to be proving beneficial because i got into the rec center yesterday and a ton of people were using these animations if you're making good use of the new animations let me know your thoughts in the comment section definitely want to know how good those animations are and before we dive into this washington post investigative article i want to take a second and invite you guys to join us on our second channel all city 2 t-o-o -O, by the way i have personally been playing different games right now i'm stuck on zelda tears of the kingdom you that's right you could help us get this channel up off the ground the link for all city 2 will be in the description below take a second go on over and subscribe and one more thing if you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with come on out and join our non-toxic only positive vibe type of community i don't know for some reason folks don't believe me when i say it's really non-toxic we work extra hard to keep our community safe for gamers from all walks of life come on out and join us the link for discord will be in the description below as well now the washington post interviewed a bunch of players on 2k including our very own all city big heck if you guys don't know all city big heck is one of the leaders in our discord community they also interviewed a next maker and this is what a next maker had to say before i would say i wouldn't ever leave 2k behind he goes on to say i still somewhat hold on to that thought process but if the trend continues this way with 2k i could see a time in which i never play it again you guys know them 2k next makers hands be tied they be very quick to lose their logo and every type of affiliation with 2k and i don't personally want to release his name but if you guys see his name in the full article the link in the description below so be it i'm just happy he kept it a buck when he was interviewed by the washington post who could have ever imagined that the washington post will step up and investigate 2k's poor business ethic this is what our homie all city big heck had to say in regards to season seven he was anticipating disappointment and he goes on to say his expectation was right that's a problem because it seems 2k wants to engage less with fans and not participate in the general discourse regarding their game that's big facts big heck he goes on to say our time is not being rewarded and neither is our dollar those are some harsh statements that need to be said i'm sure a lot of us all feel this way when we're playing 2k is that a legitimate statement to say by all city big heck our time is not being respected and neither is our dollar let me know your thoughts in the comment section all city big heck goes on to say the 2k community will get fed up if there's more of the same i'm already less engaged in the game and many others are in the same boat the user base feels like it's being taken advantage of and taken for granted Bluku, bluku. Shots fired by All City Big Heck. I love to see it, man. The truth about 2K23 and how the 2K development team neglects its player base was bound to come out. And here's a fun fact recently released by 2k the nba 2k franchise is still played by millions worldwide the company ceo Strauss zelnick said in an earnings call wednesday that nba 2k 23 has sold more than 11 million units he goes on to say that that was a record for the series and it also had its highest ever sales of virtual currency nba 2k 23 has about 2.3 million daily active users is that big fact or big cap i think it's important that you guys see the numbers see how much 
you're giving to 2K. And by the way, Strauss Zelnick, the CEO, will indeed be purchasing that new home on that remote island or off of the money that you guys put into microtransactions, buying virtual currency. The CEO will receive a bonus off of your microtransactions every single year up until the year 2029 when his contract is over. Man, I tell you, this was some big news. The Washington Post investigating NBA 2K about due time, people on their heels. Something needs to change and it needs to change ASAP. Super proud of our very own All City Big Heck for participating in this investigation, participating in this Washington Post article. And by the way, the link to the full article will be in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.